Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Now, my voice is still at about 90, 95%, but we're good enough to go here. So we're gonna get going today with the Logitech Hub. So that's the Harmony Hub or the Logitech Harmony Hub, whatever you've heard, that's what we've got today. Now, I also bought what's called the Companion Box, and that box comes with a Harmony Remote as well. So we're gonna show you what's in the box, then I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and then we're gonna get going here and show you a little bit of automation at the end of this video. Let's get started. Okay, so here's a little insight into what you get in the box. There's the hub itself and a power adapter that goes to a regular 110 plug. Then you can see the IR blaster that connects to the Logitech hub and is the small little black device with a, a very long cable actually. And you can see the manual there, but you're not really going to need that, especially after you have this video. Now, if you also buy the Logitech Harmony Home Companion Set, which is slightly more expensive, you also get this remote here. So your difference in price there from just the Harmony Home Hub is about $100 for the Harmony Home Hub and then $130 for the Home Companion Set, where you get the remote as well. Now, on an Android or an iPhone device, you're going to need the Harmony application. And you have to be a little bit careful here. There's a number of third-party applications that are out there today that appear to be related to the Harmony Hub. And they may be, but ultimately you just want the Harmony application. So on Android or iPhone, go ahead, download that application, head into it, and we're going to set up a new hub here. Now, right away, what they'd like you to do is turn on your Bluetooth on your iOS or Android device. That'll allow you to sense the device on your current device. So from there, the Logitech Hub scans for networks. You choose your network, you input your password, and then you're on your way here. They also want you to log in or create an account with Logitech specifically. I'm going to go ahead and use a Google account here just so that I don't have to fill out another form. And because I'm on an Android device, that makes it exceedingly easy as well. Now you'll also have to do a little bit of a software download to update your hub when you get it. This is a pretty standard thing for hubs like this these days. From there, you get a little demo of what all the different devices are that are part of the package here. Now, if you do already have a Harmony remote, you can actually import or copy its settings, and that would make this setup process a lot easier, but since I'm doing a demo here, we're gonna set up a new one. Now, what you'll find is that it searches your Wi-Fi network very quickly, and it locates whatever devices it can control right off the bat. So for me, it found the Philips Hue, Bridge, and Lights that I have here in my home. And you can go ahead and basically you can add that to the control just by hitting next and having that check mark, check mark there. Now, to pair the Hue Bridge, all you need to do is go tap on that button when it tells you on the top of your Hue Bridge. If you haven't seen that before, you can see my initial Hue setup video, which I'll put at the top right right now. It's a very simple process. Just tap the top of your Hue Bridge. There's a button on the top, and it will pair the device with your Logitech Hub. Now from there, we're gonna start adding our devices here. So what you need for each device is you need a manufacturer name and a model number. So you'll just have to look at each of your devices and go grab those. The first thing I'm going to add here is my Samsung TV. Now I have the model number, so I'm just gonna input that in. But you'll watch something interesting here. Logitech figured out that I had it slightly wrong when I typed it in. And so it just asked me, hey, which one of these is yours?
Now I've gone ahead, I've added the TV. Let's go ahead, add a few more devices. I'm gonna start with my Panasonic Blu-ray player now. And you can see these are pretty simple additions. And if Logitech doesn't have your device on file, it will tell you right away. And so you'll have to do something different at that point. Now I'm adding what is, I promise you, a very odd cable box here. It's actually a satellite TV box from my TV provider TELUS. And that's a very rare box. So you're not gonna find a lot of devices that the Logitech Hub doesn't know how to use because my TV box is over four years old at least. And Logitech Hub had the capability of controlling that device for me. Now, the last thing I wanted to add, I actually have a Nintendo Switch here, and I wanted to see how the hub would react to such a new device. And here's what you get. So the Nintendo Switch isn't compatible with an IR-based hub, and that's what the Logitech hub is. It's an IR-based remote, so they kind of tell you, hey, you're going to have to do a little more here. But adding it to your hub still will help, and you'll see why here in a little bit. Okay, so I've added all the devices I want to add for now. You, of course, could add many, many more. You could add other types of devices. Once you're done adding your devices, what happens is they give you a chance to kind of test everything here just to make sure that you've set the hub in the right spot. Now, it needs to be able to physically see your devices and their IR inputs. So keep that in mind when placing your hub. It needs to have line of sight, just like your remote does. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up a few activities. This is the next part in the setup process. So I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna start with watch TV. Now what's really great about this setup process is the fact that based on the type of device I added, the Logitech hub knew right away that if I wanted to watch TV, I would need my television itself and then likely the cable box or satellite box that I had. So it went ahead and it pre-selected those for me. I don't have to do anything else. And now it gives me the chance to test if I can power on those devices just by clicking the buttons there. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. And then what it does is it allows me to set some of the input. So my TV has to be on HDMI 4 because that's where my cable box is attached to. And so I set that here and that's what the Logitech Hub will set my TV to whenever I want to watch TV. Now on top of that, if you'd like to, you can add the state of your other devices that are that are able to be controlled by the Logitech Hub. So you can see here, they've identified my different lights within my Philips Hue system. So I have the two lights, and if I had any scenes set up within Hue, they could also do that. Now, you can set a state for those devices when your activity starts and when your activity ends. Now, I'm not gonna do that in this case, but just know that you could set up your lights to turn off, for, to turn on, for example, when you start watching TV. Now, another nice feature here is you could set up some favorite channels here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that again here. Now my activity of watch TV is already there. So now I'm gonna go ahead, watch a movie. And again, the hub knows my Blu-ray player plus my TV are the devices I'm going to need. It allows me to test, which I'm not gonna do, but we're able to test whether or not the hub can turn on or off those devices. We set our input, in this case it's HDMI 3 on my TV, and we're able to just move very quickly through this setup. So let's go ahead, add another activity here. I'm gonna add watch Netflix. So I only need my TV in that case. It knows that my TV is a smart TV, and it knows how to go ahead and do that. So it wants you to add Bluetooth keyboard and it gives you the exact instructions on how to do that. Now, I tested this on my TV. I go to menu, system, device manager, keyboard settings and add Bluetooth keyboard. 
and it did immediately pair and I'm able to now use this, the hub, as my Netflix control. So that was actually a pretty amazing setup process. Okay, so we're gonna add one more activity here. I'm gonna add the games activity with my Nintendo Switch. So again, it knows that the Nintendo Game Console is the console here. Now it's telling you we can't turn on that device, but it will set the right input for you, which with the Nintendo Switch, if you have one, you know you just gotta turn that on um, with the controller anyway. So that's all you have to do for that. Now I have four activities set up entirely. Now, the next thing you can do is you have a couple of buttons that are at the top of the Harmony remote that you can use as kind of quick launch buttons. So for this section, we're going to look at the activity launch buttons, which are the top three buttons you can see right now. Now you can see here that the Logitech Hub has pre-filled in the activities that you'd want associated with each of the buttons, but you can go ahead and change those. So I don't want a long press on this button to be play a game. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the same as a short press, which is watch a movie. So the other buttons are the home control buttons. Now you can see those have an icon of a light on them. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of my buttons to be my white, my white basement lamp, which is part of my Philips Hue system. I'm going to set the other button here to be my basement bloom my hue bloom light and if I wanted I could set the other buttons on the right hand side of all of this you can see they're kind of uh, plug icons there I could set them to something else so I didn't at this time but essentially we are now complete the full setup for our Harmony Hub So what you can see my tablet doing here is basically the configuration has been pushed into the hub and now it's just verifying that everything's been pushed in and then it brings up the control interface. So not only do you have the remote with the hub here, but you also have the capability of controlling everything from your tablet or your phone. Now you can see your activities are on the left hand side of the application and your devices themselves are on the right. So you can also control all the devices individually as well as use some of your pre-set up activities on the left there. And when you go into each and every device, you can see a different control capability. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the watch TV activity here. And then you can see again, I get an entirely new menu, which is more related to my TELUS cable box. There's also an interesting interface here. I don't think I'd ever personally use it, but you can actually use touch commands on your tablet or your phone. Now, what I wanted to show you at the end of this is how simple it is to have multiple devices set up with your Harmony Hub. So I'm going to go ahead, I've downloaded the Harmony application on my iPhone, and so I'm just going to go ahead and try and connect to the Hub on that application here. So it's just searching on my Wi-Fi for that Hub, and right away you can see it found the Harmony Hub, I just have to tap on it, and now it's going ahead and connecting to that. So that means essentially anyone on your network who has the Harmony application would be able to connect and control what your hub is capable of controlling. So keep that in mind with the different devices that you actually put on this hub. So it takes a few minutes, it loads the configuration onto your new device, and then again, you get the same interface. It obviously looks a little different because we're on a phone here versus a tablet before, but you still get all your activities, all your devices, and once you tap on any of those, you do once again get the different control capabilities for each different device or each different activity. 
So it's as simple as that to actually set up the Harmony Hub on multiple devices. I would say in general, you're more likely to want to have a tablet with you to make this all work, but a phone is definitely serviceable here as a remote. So here's my TV, and you can just see my Harmony Hub just down off and to the right, and most of my controllable devices are down there, my PVR, my Blu-ray device. So just so you know what kind of setup I have, this doesn't mean you have to set it this close, but I thought you'd like to see how close mine is. Now let's go ahead and do a demo. I'm going to use my iPhone as the remote control here. Now I think you can see I've hit the watch TV button. So you'll see I'm on HDMI 3, which is actually the wrong input. It's now switched to HDMI 4, and you can watch me here as I go up and down channels, change around. Now, what I found really interesting here is just how fast this was responding. Now, I haven't sped this up or done anything. I've simply synced the two devices together. So when I'm pressing a button on my phone, this is how fast it's showing up on the TV. So that's quite an amazing feat to me, especially since I have quite a busy network at home. So you can see I can start a recording, I can do all anything I'm used to doing with my PVR. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start a movie here. So I went ahead, I hit that, it switched to HDMI 3, and now it's bringing up the actual movie itself here. Now you're gonna have a little giggle here because it is my kids' video here in the DVD player, but that's okay, you can have a little giggle at my expense. Now, this was the other thing that I thought was really amazing. My TV is nothing short of a pain in the butt to get Netflix up on. So all I had to do was hit watch Netflix and this instantly brought up Netflix for me. Okay, well I hope you've got that all set up here. Your Harmony Hub should be working. Hopefully your remote's working as well and you can use your phone or your tablet to control your whole entertainment system in your house. That also, of course, includes things like your Philips Hue lights. Now, next time when we're working with the Logitech Hub here, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Home and some of the other hubs and devices to actually control the Harmony Hub as well. We'll see you next time.